Ah. Uh, no. Our propellers. <laughs> propellers has completely destroyed themselves. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying to build a crazy amalgamation of every type of vehicle. Well, not every type. The most common types. And trying to make the most ultimate vehicle in Stormwork. So, hope you enjoy the video guys. Let's get, let's get building. Okay, so for my island of choice, I've gone with the regular creative island. Because I have access to a dock over there and a hangar over here. Now, actually, I think I'm going to start with the dock. Because that way I can get a fuselage or a hull, I don't really know, ready to make sure it's floating and try and get it to sink as part of the submarine section of this. So, let's go. So as every Stormworks creation begins with a line of white blocks. I'm going to build it fairly big. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on the overall construction because I want to pack in all the features and I'm not going to be making this the prettiest thing ever but I'll try and make something work and there so it's tall enough to walk in it's wide enough to fit a decent sized engine and some batteries and it should be good for buoyancy I guess but we will find out okay, so I'm just going to rotate this here because I was building the front I thought it looked good as a back end, so I'm thinking of putting the propellers and all the propulsion for forward movement, at least on the back here. It's going to be very futuristic shuttle type design. So, so for this build, uh, in terms of power, I want to have everything run off a single motor or single power system. And I feel like a medium will be enough because motors are crazy powerful anyway and I want to have it a sustainable flight time or dive time whatever with batteries and a reasonable size generator because think about it there's not going to be too much room in here after we've done with everything so hopefully a medium motor is going to be powerful enough but uh, we'll see now in terms of generators I am thinking of two small engines each powering their own and they're gonna be auto controlled so they're gonna turn on once the battery gets below a certain threshold which should improve their um, fuel consumption rates um, and just make the whole thing more long lasting okay so that is the engine and power compartment pretty much set down I added a large battery here and a large fuel tank to run both our systems and in terms of size it's, it's relatively um, big. Okay so now it's time for the plane slash helicopter part of the build. So I'm obviously thinking a VTOL system or vertical takeoff and landing where we can adjust the orientation of our rotors in this case to basically turn it into a plane and then a helicopter at will okay so i'm using power transfer pivots here these are normal size pivots and these actually allow you to uh, well transfer power through them and there we go that is a reasonable vtol setup if it's going to work i have no idea well, there's one thing missing and that's a tail. <laughs> now that the boat, plane and helicopter side of the vehicle is coming along nicely, I'm going to start adding a ballast tank so we can uh, well, get our submarine diving and things. We're not going to do anything crazy like being able to switch between control schemes for each vehicle. We're just going to have a seat for every <laughs> type of vehicle that we have oh yeah we've all built windows like this the old box I mean, no hate to the box or anything but. so i've decided to move the vtol system forward the actual center so i'm using a couple of simple microcontrollers to govern which clutches are engaged for 
which power system i can i can just sit in a seat wire it up to the occupied and then um, send that directly to the clutches okay guys so she is pretty much done for the first building run i've done all the wiring and electronics and set up what i hope is going to be a perfect first try run and well i'd like you to join me for the first try see how she floats hey actually a little, little butt heavy not too bad i might add some more weights at the front to get that nose down actually let's do that right now so i don't want to subject the bottom to the uh dot plague again um, with the weight blocks but uh it's a little better and uh well let's jump into the the control room here and we'll take a look so we've got three seats in total and a power central uh, lever here which obviously controls our power we have the rocket seat which you'll see and i'll show that at the end we got the plane slash helicopter and we also have the car slash boat slash sub which i'm just going to get in this right now because i want to test there's our steering on our wheels if you can see that they're both going in the same direction which is cool we've also got steering with rudders as well and thankfully they're both in the same direction we've also got dive planes at the back or the single dive plane that we put in and so hopefully that's going to drive us underwater and we've also got our ballast fill which if i go into photo mode here hopefully we'll get some fill action turns out the i wired it wrong and the drain button is actually the fill button um, so that's not confusing whatsoever and uh well i guess i'm going to uh power her up all the generators should be running automatically um, and so well full power oh wow she's fast okay and well she's boat in perfectly let's try and dive Try it, try it. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the ballast to fill up a little bit. Uh, let's power. Okay, so now as you can see, the ballasts are full and we're a bit low in the water now, so I'm gonna increase our power and use our diving and wow, okay, that was really easy. And yeah, we are a submarine. Look at that. Okay, it's a little, we're rising, <laughs> okay. It seems as though the drag is very strange and it just goes down and then pulls up. But if you don't mind being a dolphin, then well, yeah, it's a completely functional <laughs> submarine, I reckon. Awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to test the ground and air capabilities of the vehicle and uh oh i i can't there's no ladder there we go now we have a ladder that we can climb and get to the hatch that was a bit of an oversight there okay so we want our first i'm going to turn the power up because critical design feature the power is behind the seat so you get what you get so actually before before we take flight, I'm going to first test the wheels. I'm actually going to power down. There we go. We have power to the wheels. Oh god, I'm drifting. Oh yes, I'm drifting this thing. Oh yeah. Probably the most painful part of this process to uh, get working is the VTOL system. And well, I'm hammering the power. And we're not gaining any height. Oh yes, I also added at the back there a ducted fan, which will control our yaw. Oh yes, we're up. 
Okay, so I've made several revisions. We have gearing on the motor, and we also have a two to one gear ratio on the nacelles themselves on both sides, as well as a extra rotor. And well, as you can see, she's flying very smooth. A little bit hasty on the roll there. Oh god, a little bit chunky, but the pitch is pretty much where I want it as well as the collective see so the roll sensitivity could be a bit more sensitive but uh, on a, now there's only one thing to test and that is to gain some altitude and go into plane mode oh geez okay here we go it should be a flawless transition with the logic that I've done and then uh, three two one Wait, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, ah, uh, no, our propellers, <laughs> propellers has completely destroyed themselves, oh, it makes me want to throw, <laughs> look how bad it is, oh, if this doesn't work, alright, oh, no, yes, no, it's going down, Oh, up, up, come on, <laughs> no. go back into VTOL, oh, that was very janky, oh, it's it's not instantly destroying itself, but, okay, I might, might have spoke too soon, oh, no, uh, <laughs> no, oh, I don't think it's gonna fly, not with this design, oh, well, it ticked everything except plane. So I think there's only one thing to do and that's finish it off with a nice paint job and uh, send her off. So guys, I want to thank you for watching and uh, you thought I forgot about the rockets. Okay, let's, let's try this. I'm going to try and pitch her up and then quickly get into the seat because they activate straight away. And <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's flying. Okay, it flew for a second really fast. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, leave some suggestions for some crazy builds like this if you want to see more. And uh, well, that's it from me, and uh, see you in the next one.